Now, I know a lot of you might be using your email inbox as another form of a task manager, as a to-do list. If there's an email that needs a reply from you or that requires you to take some action, a lot of you will keep that email in your inbox and then only archive it or delete it or file it in a special folder when you've taken that action, when you've handled it. But now that we're using OmniFocus, we really want OmniFocus to be the central source of truth on what we need to do. So we no longer want to use our email inbox as a to-do list. Fortunately, OmniFocus has a very cool feature that we can use to get emails out of our email inbox and into OmniFocus and make them into OmniFocus tasks so that we can keep track of what we need to do. Now this feature is called MailDrop and it requires that you set up your OmniSync account. Hopefully you've already done that by now. So let me show you how this MailDrop feature works and how you can use it to get emails from your email inbox into OmniFocus. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to manage.sync.omnigroup.com and we're gonna go ahead and sign in there. So that's what I'll do here. I'm gonna sign in with my OmniSync account. And when I'm signed in, I'm gonna scroll down and it'll say mail drop to inbox right here. This is the feature that we want. So we're gonna go ahead and click add an address. Now OmniFocus or the OmniSync server generated an address for me. And when I forward an email to this email address, it will create a task in my OmniFocus inbox. So I've copied this email address. I'll minimize my browser here. Go ahead and open um, well, open my email. Okay, here's an email I got. I'm in a Toastmasters club, it's very fun. We develop our public speaking skills and there is a twice a year contribution. Makes sense, makes sense. So I just wanna make sure that I go ahead and pay that. And the Toastmasters club people send me an email saying, hey, can you please pay your membership fee? Cool, so let me go ahead and forward this email to my OmniFocus mail drop email account and then it will show up in my OmniFocus inbox. All right, so we're gonna forward this email right here. In the to field, I'm going to paste the address that I just grabbed from the Omni Group website and go ahead and send that email. Minimize mail, open my OmniFocus inbox. You see it's not here yet, but if I go file, sync now, There it is. Here's the task that came from the email. And if I open the notes, I'll see that the entire message is in here. So this is lovely. Now, we talked about using verbs and having actionable language in OmniFocus tasks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the title of this task right here. I'm going to say, pay Fusion Toastmasters membership fee. And I think it had a due date in here. It says no later than Thursday, 28 March. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a due date, March 28. Boom, all set. Actually, you know what? Let's make it March 27, because it might take a day to arrive. So this is how OmniFocus mail drop works. Whether you use this a lot is up to you. It, can, it depends on your workflow. But for example, if you work in an office in a corporate setting and you get lots of emails from colleagues or from your boss asking you to do things, this is a very handy way to get your emails into OmniFocus. And because all you gotta do is forward an email to the OmniFocus mail drop address, you can do this from your phone, from your iPad, from your Mac, from your Windows PC, anywhere that you have access to your email, you can forward tasks to OmniFocus. So that's OmniFocus mail drop. Go ahead and go through your email inbox right now and forward all of the emails to your own personal OmniFocus mail drop account so that your OmniFocus inbox has not only the tasks that were in your head, but also the tasks that were in your inbox. Go ahead and do that and then move on to the next lesson.